Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Pillow Time! I can't sing, but welcome to the show, babies. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to your favorite podcast. I'm your host, Ryan Pannell. This is Pillow Talk. Today's episode, you know, this guest is, is such a legend. I, I don't even know why he gives me time of day. A, as a friend, but B, to come on the show. Uh, this is such an honor. He's one of the most legendary fucking people in the world. This is good friend, good guy, great director. This is Director X. Director X, welcome to the show. What's up? What's up? How are you? What's going on? You're in LA. You're bouncing around. You're living life. What's going on, Director X? Eh, it's working, bro. I'm out, I'm out here, bro. I'm out here, you know? He's the most humble guy in the world. I guarantee you he's going to answer questions about how's your day. He'll, he'll crack jokes about that. Then you talk about, did you just make a million dollars doing a video with the biggest art- artist in the world? He's like, oh, you know, like you're so humble, X, all the time. Uh, yeah, bro. I just... Uh... I just come, I'm old school. I don't, I don't be talking too much. You know, I do, I do the work and let you see it. <laughs> and you do great work. But before we get to the amazing work that you do, Director X, this is Pillow Talk. So let's talk about some shit. First thing I want to address is when we went to dinner a couple of weeks ago, you left a little bit early and then my date left <laughs> three minutes after you. Did you fuck my date? <laughs> No, <laughs> no, I didn't. You can see, the, okay, because first I of all, she, I went to sleep. I went home and went to sleep. Because mm-hmm. she was totally vibing with you, and this isn't the first time this has happened. In Toronto at EFS one night also, I brought a girl named Amanda. You probably don't even know that this happened, but it did. And she was all over you. I don't like going out with you and girls anymore. I just, fuck it. <laughs> There's levels to this shit, and I don't want to, uh, you know what I mean? Let me stay down in, in house league while you're playing fucking all star games, putting up 81 points. I don't need to be doing this with you, X. Fuck. Man, Is it always I'm like just, that? I'm just cool, bro. I'm just cool. You know, you what are. I'm I'm yeah, like, okay, yeah. let me ask you this Were you getting girls the way you are now in high school and at middle school and all that, or did it come with the clout, the money, the fame, the success? No, no, no. I, 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 Girls liked me in high school. Middle school, no. Middle school was, I, it was weird. I was, you know, I went to like this all white uh, Christian, conservative Christian school. Out in Brampton? The countryside. Like, I lived in Brampton and then the school was outside of that. Wow. So I got no <laughs> love. I got no love in junior high. So then I went and I thought, oh, fuck, no one likes me. Then I went to high school and the girls were like, hey, I like you. Like, really? Oh, yeah. That girl likes you. That girl likes you. That girl likes you. Like, oh, shit. What's fucking going on? No. And no, then just grade nine, you were probably one of those guys that just lost your V card right away. Like grade nine, you just were started pumping. And now everyone was like, oh, I'm still trying to get my first makeout. And you were like, oh, I'm actually doing anal sex already. Like you guys are, <laughs> <laughs> you're still kissing. The I wasn't fuck. quite that adventurous. Had I grown up, had, if, if I had internet growing up, who knows what my, uh, what I would have been like in high school. We were old, True. but back in, the, back in those days, you, you know, the sex was like soft, Love scenes in a movie. Yeah, because we had not, Maybe nothing to reference. You, played, you, have, you had nothing to reference, nothing to make you say, that shit's possible. Even, <laughs> even like all the porn I'd seen, it was always like a guy and a girl. You know what I mean? But someone had to have a tape. You had to get a tape. Right, from yeah. And sneak it as your dad's tape. My dad didn't have any tapes. My father had Playboys. So I didn't even have like that. I remember <laughs> got my So you, you knew it. what a naked girl looked like, but you didn't know what to yeah, do with it. Tons of what naked girls look like. Stuff, right. But just a very <laughs> different world. Like the romantic comedies teen comedies were your best bet at you know what i'm saying so now yeah. with the internet i don't i could not imagine <laughs> even TV rap like music school. videos actually like christina aguilera dirty was probably the first boner i got i think i think that <laughs> right, was my right. first direction yeah back in our in our day you had um maybe the, again the most you would get see on air is like girls in bikinis like oh wow right they're, they're, they're dancing but it wasn't what we got going on now right okay so yeah, yeah. This, this is something I wanted to talk about. So you've done a hundred of the best hundred music videos ever made. You've done them all. You, you, you have first, second, third. You're like Michael Phelps. You know what I mean? You're just, you're swimming the fucking breaststroke gold medal, front crawl gold medal. You have every video and you've crushed all your videos. Dates back, he, Grant, he did Thong Song, okay? Like we're going all the way back to Cisco. The remix, I did the, re- the remix for Thong Song. Okay. He did Aaliyah. Way back, DMX, Jay-Z. The list goes on. Kanye West. It's, it's fucking insane. But what I want to know is the dancers in your videos are almost as impressive 
probably the most impressive part of the video half the time is the dancers. So how do you find them? Who are these big booty girls? What do they do in regular life? Do they DM you all the time? I want to be in a video. I want to be in a video. Is it hard to make the cuts? I want to know how that works. The backup dancer. Um, I mean, nowadays you, you can find, at least you can start on Instagram, but you do need to see people in, in real life uh, at some point, just because people can take being in a, being looking good in a still picture is different than hundred percent. I got the oh camera God. moving. And, you know, well, so, everyone's a catfish in 2021. Everyone. I'm a catfish. Yeah. So like yeah. I've, <laughs> I've had the experience of actually casting um, a bunch of girls for a video. Yeah. Luckily so, I cast two of them, but a bunch off Instagram. I had two that I cast myself. Okay. Then like a, a, another three from Instagram and none of them looked as good right. as their Instagram photo. None of them were on the level. Even because yeah. look, if for a rap video, when it's, it's a scene where it's like a booty shaking scene. Girls Photoshop their booties to look massive. I'm sure you've had one show up one time and then their ass looks flat like a backboard that Shaq would shoot a free throw off. No, I haven't had any fake booty show. More so face has, has been like, you know, yeah. you, you can, there's enough videos and stuff in the world. But um, I'm, when I'm casting, I am looking a bit more for a full package, like the fantasy. I, I, when you're television and movies and this right. thing is supposed to be selling like the fantasy of, or just, you know, everything's supposed to be great. The house is the greatest house. The car is the greatest car. The guy right. is the most looking big. Like, he's, you know, we're shaping this uh, fantasy world where everyone's incredible, doing incredible things. So I do like to cast a uh, beautiful face, great body, great, whatever. If the body Good parts, dancer. I prefer them to be real, that they can dance. Like, right. I, I, like, I like natural. So I, I'm always trying to find and put just very like, oh, wow. You know that exists, and that's a lot harder. In the, in, the, in the old days before Instagram, the only place you could see "Wow, that exists" was in the music video, right? Right. Like, oh my god! Yes, look at yes. That, that was that the exciting exists. part of, like, I think the first pair of tits I ever saw was in the Superman video by Eminem. It was on the Eight Mile bonus thing, and I probably jerked off to that four hundred times because that's all I had. <laughs> my dad right. wasn't a Playboy guy. And yeah. Right. And you'd see, and you'd see these women, especially in hip hop videos, you'd be like, Oh my God, that is the most beautiful woman. In, in, in my day, the most yeah. you could get is like some fake tits. So right. these, that's what they look like, you know? Um, <laughs> yeah. Now all the surgery is so common, like face, lips, cheekbones, so tits, ass, at, like they're just, people are just, just carving themselves. Oh yeah. Into, the Kardashians into fucked everything up for everyone. Yeah, and then you find like almost there's a whole set, there's a whole look where there's people look like clones of each other. It's really yes, uh, yes, hundred percent. They all just want to look like Kim. Kim K fucked yeah. everyone up. Yeah, it's but wild. back to it, the it's dancers. Such a drastic step. Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, Kanye met Amber Rose on set for a music video. It happens all the time. Uh, you hear about drama between rappers. He they, he sees. They see their girls in, in a, a two chains video and they're like, what the fuck is she doing in that video? It's a whole thing. It's a whole world. And I'm sure you're in the middle of it all the time. So like, this is constantly happening, right? Rappers are fucking the dancers and you know, you're trying to get them out. They're in their trailer, trailer shaking a little bit, like no, in Grand Theft Auto. No, no, not really. Not really. Again, maybe in some other things, but my, my productions are a little different. Like, uh, you, you run a tight ship. You have people in fucking my large productions. When you come to one of my videos or any any of my productions, the girls get their makeup done in the makeup trailer. Then they go to the wardrobe trailer. They, you know, this is they, we don't got time to be fucking around. People might meet on set, right? You know what I'm saying? But very few of these artists are like we just it's just not that kind of party. It might look like it, you know. Might we put a lot of work into it, looking like debaucherous madness on? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but. You know, and cut, and the music gets turned off, and then the AD's yelling, "All right, we're all moving on. That's set. It's over here." And everyone starts clomping over, and the equipment starts moving, and the artist goes back to their trailer, and the girls, are, okay, the girls put them in the new outfit because it's the nighttime scene. So everyone, right, get them out of it. Like, so there's all this shit going on, right? Um, and there just isn't the time. And then you're the captain. You're they're the one just fucking. I'm, it must I'm be anxiety and just constant fucking pressure and stress because because yeah, music videos you got to bang them out. Though. Yeah, right, but, but because there, you bang them out so quick, like Game yeah. of Thrones will work three months on one fucking episode. You get like 12 hours, right? To do some of your videos. You just, because you got to fly in. You, you only book that set for that time or that car for this girl. Can only, like, it must be fucking crazy. You must always have to pivot. 
if something fucks up. Yeah, like, you're, you're always adjusting, but I, I find the adjustments make the project sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So <clears throat> just there, there is a bit of universal God getting involved and helping you along sometimes by fucking up a thing that you realize, oh, I don't need that. It's better True. without that or whatever. And like I said, I've been, I've been doing this a long time. So um, the days of anxiety and nervousness and all that stuff, I'm, I'm, I'm you, you see me. I'm when I'm out. Yeah, you're I'm always cool. chill. Well, you, we see you at the end of the uh, Ariana Grande video. That's fucking hilarious. It's alive. You know, it's, yeah, right. And, yeah. and it just looks like okay. He's cracking jokes. He's having fun with the best of the best. Everyone's having fun. Looks like a good vibe. I would love to come. By the way, can you invite me one day? I'd love to bring you, but now we're in the COVID days, so you got to get tested. It's a whole. It's a True. whole thing now. True. It's very. It's not. It's not like the old days. We could just show up. Right. Like, I did a video on the artist brought his mother. Like his mom showed up and that was a big deal. That everyone was, was like, oh shit, the mom's here? Oh shit. Well, she hasn't been tested. It's true. You just walk, you walk into this set, everyone's been tested. They've got your masks on. There's a, there's a thing. This is not a game. And when it gets into television, it's even more serious. Like Ugh. there's certain people can't even come on set. I mean, you're like, you're working, but you're not allowed to come on set because you don't need to be on set. And then wow. certain people on set, are allowed near the camera, but not allowed near the actors. Like it's color coded. It's it's for real. And then for me, even for me, if I go to talk to an actor who doesn't have their mask on because they're in the scene, I have to have goggles on. I have to have my mask. I have to like. And there's a person on set that says, "Put your mask on, X." Right. Like it's the, okay. It's what about in production? Is not a game. Your your girls. You you come home. You celebrate. We did a great shoot. You have all these girls waiting for you to come home and just have sex with X. You know. Uh, do they have you to get? You really got the entourage version in your head of what this means. Ah, uh, uh, come on, like, X. You totally, yeah. After sixteen day, after sixteen hours on set, you come home and go to sleep. <laughs> so you 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 woke up with, with before the sun, and then you're coming back. You're tired. Maybe you're you get working. breakfast in bed, or breakfast in head, or something yeah, along those lines. Some, some depends on the situation, but yeah, maybe it's breakfast in bed. <laughs> but even in COVID days, you can't even get the same fucking room service. You oh, Everything's a mess now. It's a mess. So, okay. Who are you having sex with now? Who's your girl right now? You must. <laughs> do you have an LA girl or you must? No. Uh, you're being a good boy. I don't, I wouldn't call it a good boy, but I'm in, I'm, I'm in a very. Cause you are right the king of New York. You're the king of Toronto and you're the king of LA. So, and Miami. So. Do you kind of have one at every port the way like NBA players do? And it's just like, that's my Toronto girl. I will see you in two months. I will see you when I get to Vegas. I will see you. Like, is that how you roll? Do you just have girls all over the place? You're always moving. I, got, I have I have a lot of friends. I do enjoy it. If I'm going to hang out with someone, uh, I mean, we're men, right? We, we enjoy the company of women, whether that's just to hang out or right. be romantic or whatever that may become. But I'm just cool, bro. You seem like I said, I'm just hundred cool. percent. You're just cool. my philosophy on this shit. I'm not, I'm not stressing nobody. I'm not chasing nothing. Like, Hey, you want to go get it? Oh, cool. And yeah. Yeah. It, it, you, you are just I mean? chill as hell. Yes, you are. I'm just chill. And, and I agree with you. I, good. yeah, I love hanging out with girls too. I like, I fucking hate guys. Guys suck. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like There's I live time with, for the fellows. There's a time to hang with the yeah, fellows. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> watch sports, have beer. But when I want to talk about my bullshit, my, and gossip about my life, I want to do it with girls. They get, they give good advice. You know, no one's gotten me laid more than my best friend, Julia. You know what I mean? She helps it up. She hooks it up. Guys can't do that for me. They yeah. take them. They take girls for themselves and dudes get weird with chicks. X. I like guys are getting, Oh, FaceTime what is this? We're getting a phone call from Mr. Quickie. Let's see what he has to say. Here we go. We're going to add him to, uh, let's do a sound check here. Hey, check, check one, two. Can you hear him, X? <laughs> I hear him. Okay. Yeah, what up? What's up, man? What's going on, Mr. Quickie? How you doing? Oh, man, fast as ever. <laughs> What's going on? And we're doing a show here with Director X. Oh, Director X. Yes. How Let you doing? I'm Mr. Quickie. <laughs> What's they up, call Mr. Me Quickie? Mr. Quickie? Listen, they call me Mr. Quickie because I do everything, and I mean everything, as quickly as possible, okay? I'm here because you have 60 seconds to answer as many questions as you can, as quickly as you can, starting right now. All right, Director X, Lil Nas X or Exhibit? <laughs> uh, 
uh, as rappers, uh, I'm, I mean, a different generation. Little Nas X. All right. Would you rather be known as the guy who comes fast, like me, <laughs> or farts loud, like Ryan? <laughs> farts loud. Good answer. Have you ever have you ever shot a music video and thought to yourself, "All right, this is a little bit too much ass." No. <laughs> Good answer. All right, ass or tits? Ass. Uh, I can't say both. Good answer. Who do you want to fist fight more, <laughs> Joe Biden or Donald Trump? Ooh. Oh, I can't say both. <laughs> <laughs> All right. For one million dollars, would you let Ryan direct your next music video? Uh, who gets the million dollars? You do. <laughs> oh, yeah. Go ahead. Dude. Fuck yes. Direct That's it. Right You're done. You made your minute. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, we did Thank you, Mr. Quickie. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> you remember Dark, right? Mr. Yeah. Quickie. It's a segment we do every episode. He's great. He's great. So, X, you had a fucking crazy 2020. You did five videos? Five? Maybe, yeah. Yeah. Pop star. Yeah. Biggest video of the year. It was most talked about gospel video. Then you did the one with the most views of the year. Life is good. And you're also yeah. in both videos. So at the very end of both videos, first of all, the life is good cameo is fucking hilarious. I loved it. It was so cool. You have the king of music in the world, Drake, coming mm -hmm. up to you saying, you're the boss. You're the boss. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So girls see that and now they're obsessed. Yes? No. Come on. No, no, you have Drake I, in the most viewed I, video I, in the world. I, I, I thought I would have actually felt a bit of a difference after the Ariana Grande video. Yeah. Because her fans are just so... And she, the way she Instagrammed the video, she put like director X and then this, like your name was bigger than the name of the song in her Instagram yeah. post. I mean, I, look, the, the, I told I, you, Grant, I, he's so I'm, fucking I'm, humble. Just admit there, it, okay? There, Girls no, love you. No, there's been no no big difference. No big difference as far oh. as like, oh yeah, maybe we just don't live in that world anymore. We're being oh, are you kidding? Something doesn't mean, people I love. It. They eat that shit up. Like my friends are all like, holy shit, he's in the video. I'm like, yeah, he also wrote it, directed it, and produced it. But then people, you know, my loser idiot friends think it's just cool that you're in it. I'm like, but he, <laughs> he made it. He created all this. Yeah, yeah, but he's right. also in it. You know, that, that's the big thing. Well, I haven't, then everyone's very quiet about it when they see me. Let's, let's say that. They, Cause they're scared of you. You're intimidating. You're, you're a scary person. <laughs> you think I'm a scary guy? I, at first, only because you're so big time. And then, you know, sometimes you're, you're low key and you're quiet sometimes. So it's like, right. oh shit, he's not fucking with us. He's too cool for us. You know. <laughs> and I, I've had girls tell me like, can you tell X, like, I say he's cute or, you know, they're, they're like scared to approach you. You're an intimidating person. I, am, I, I do have a serious, I do, I do have a serious vibe. I do, I do know that. Um, Girls so, call it the resting uh, bitch face. That's what they call it. I guess I got to, so what would it be for a dude? A resting jerk face? Or, yeah, a resting jerk face. I guess. I, mean, I don't know. <laughs> I definitely, I don't know if I like that for me. No, oh, no, you don't. You have a beautiful smile and you're always smiling. But uh, but seriously, okay. So after the life is good video, now uh, does like does sh it's getting crazier or it's just always been like this? Like because you've been doing shit since the '90s consistently. But after last year, I feel like that was probably one of the biggest years. Like it was a fucking. It was a great year. year. I mean, the, the, yeah. you're always there. There's it's it's hard to say. Like oh, and then it became the, just I, it, the, it just the game goes, doesn't. Eh? The game doesn't work that way, if, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm 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 here doing a Drake and Future video, and then DJ Khaled. We have the conversation about pop star, and then the Ariana Grande. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. Um. So it's not quite a flat line. It's not like a you know, but it's definitely you can see like you're progressing. And now I'm getting calls yeah. from a younger generation. So like Roddy Rich. Right. Uh, yeah, you just did Roddy Rich in Miami. Just did Roddy Rich in Miami. So which I think is actually uh, significant. To, it's one thing for like the Drakes and the Futures and even Ariana, she's young, but she's, you know, that's, she's still from a generation that remembers my name on things, right? Right, right. A hundred percent. I didn't uh, know you did the work video, by the way. Yeah. That's one of my favorites. Uh, like, which it, one? The, the work, Drake, work, Drake, Rihanna, yeah. 
Yeah, because I also that's the one where they're forward. grinding. That's the one where they started actually fucking. I think you're responsible for them. No, they were they were together for a long time before that. Okay, but you put them, you put them yeah. fucking, you know. I put them. I gave, I gave them a good old West Indian. Uh, that's yeah, shot that in Toronto. Yeah. Oh yeah, where? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, a restaurant called uh, the Real Jerk. Okay, Real Jerk, Real Jerk Face. <laughs> and it's okay, different with the, it's different when you in, in West Indian context, but uh, yes. You know. So you've been around rappers your whole life. You're friends with all of them. Which one is just a, the biggest dog of all? I think it's probably Drake, just because I hear shit. Tyga, this is my list. Drake, Tyga, and DMX. I've heard is a fucking was was, you know, rest in peace. Look, but. I'm I'm not I'm not going to speak on. <laughs> I'm not going to speak about this from inside the game. I'm going to step outside of the game for a minute, like just someone who's watching what's okay. going on. Yes, that's fair. Okay. That's fair. I like that. Tyga has only fans, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Tyga of is him. Yeah. Like that's he, he jerks off. He jerks that's, off on it. That's unprecedented. It's in like what world are we living in right now? Where an A-list rapper, kids love him, is now coming on girls' faces on on camera. Yeah. For nine 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 a month. Own, his three, he's just he just looked at his fucking sex life. And said, "I could make money from this." <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, this doesn't have to be just us girls. And then, and away you go. So, I don't know uh, if if we're talking Hall of Fame, dirt dog diglers. I mean, we have to have a, there's a statue that needs to be built for many rappers and athletes. Yeah, give me the I Mount Rushmore. Ready. By the way, it's twenty dollars a month for Tyga's uh, OnlyFans. Oh, it's twenty. It's bucks. twenty. Sorry. Oh, probably went up. That's, after like, a, he, that's I, like a hefty price, right? Yeah, twenty is a lot. I'm subscribed to thirteen accounts, and usually my cap is like twelve ninety nine. Do you have, do you sub to OnlyFans? No. I love it. You know, it, look, you can watch porn of someone you don't know or porn of someone you do, and it's more right. fun. You know, the girl from the bar last night that rejected me, and then I went home and jerked off. Now I can jerk off to her. Yeah, I mean, this makes complete sense. <laughs> I mean, it's a whole other game. Look, I don't really follow uh, like girls on Instagram that don't follow me back. Right. Okay. Like you don't do like the big famous uh, girls that just post their booty yeah, every day. I can't. And look, we're we're men. We have a we have a genetic reaction to beautiful women. Right. right. And there was a moment when I just kind of followed everyone because because I'm also like, what if I want you for a job? So there's a part of me. Okay. That would right. Like, okay. Oh, there you are. Hey hit this one up. We're going to be doing a video. So it's not all just me and my loins, but my loins are being affected. You know, I'm scrolling through my fucking page and it's just yeah. woman after woman, after woman, after woman. And it's just, and your body starts fucking like, again, Oof. this, Oof. this tech, this technology that we have, we have, we're not really wrapping our heads around it's what insane. it's doing to us. It's insane. Yeah. And I got, I got, we're all addicted to these fucking phones. Oh yeah. And you know, again, it used to be, you had to, and even if there's a music video, you had to get in front of the fucking television and right. turn on the thing and wait through commercials and hopefully you see one and then like there's an R&B artist and they do a love song oh there's a sexy one like it, now you just pr- you can just go sexy 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 and it was yeah. just oh, I, I began to and you can undress them now because they have OnlyFans so it's like and now you go to OnlyFans yes yeah so, so you yeah. can see a girl half naked and then for 10 or 20 bucks you can see them naked yeah Any, it's, it's, almost every girl now it's, it's insane. and they make a lot of money so I do support oh my god so much. I do support the I've always I've always looked out for uh, the girls, right? Even on yeah. set and uh, all that stuff. I've always I've always looked out for. I've them. heard this. That's a thing. That's a known thing that X takes oh, care. Of, uh, yeah, it, it is that it's like on set. You're always take. Uh, you're not sexist ever, you know, because there's a lot of in in this industry, especially working yeah. with pretty girls and stuff. Guys can be a little bit like you know. What, yeah. What's his, no. What's no, his no, face? No, no. I, 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 yeah, you're so never, clean. Yeah. Yeah. Well, one, we got work to do. I'm here to do the work. Yeah. If So that's the number one. They are working. So I, do, I remember I, I was, um, I went on a big float, one of these West Indian Day parades. And they had a float and they, this artist brought his girls and the girls, you know, it's in the streets. So everyone's in the street and they're starting to get tired. And I say, yo, put them on the float. And I, I said, get the girls get on the float. And then the people on the float, it's all these just random guys, kick them off the float. And I, I had then, then I said, put, then I got angry. I said, put them on the float. And the cops came over and they goes, what's going on? And then the guy's like, we don't want these girls on the float. I said, put them on the float. This is the float, hired this artist. They're working for him. The cops are like, well, they're not. Then I had to get angry. They're working. They had taken a break. 
Fuck. Put them on the fucking float. That that just scared the shit out of me. (laughs) These people are working. They have not taken a break. And the cops understand what this talk means. Right. Take those guys off and put those girls on the float. There's, there's, when you're working, there's rules involved. You just yes. can't not fuck it. You can't just not give people breaks or not give people lunch or not give them like this. Just that's not. You understand? You can yeah. do your asshole whatever shit on your own time, but once right. there's money involved, they're getting paid. They have to get a break. They have to get food. They have to get a drink. This has to happen. And the cops are like, okay, sure. I'm, and, but that's the industry we're from. I'm scared to ever piss you off. By the way. <laughs> <laughs> when I, I'm when I putting go, girls on a float for you 100%. 10 times out of time. <laughs> Look, we're, we're, this, this is the industry I'm from. This is what I've known for over right. 20 years. Well, you grew up in Six, Brooklyn. I, I, I lived in Brooklyn for 20 years, but there's also just, this is the job. And this shit is very fucking serious. We take yeah. safety serious. These breaks are not just for no fucking reason. We stop right. working after a certain time because there's safety and there's things involved in this. And it's just the way we've always operated. And even that first generation like in the early 2000s, we brought a bunch of girls from Toronto and put them in music videos in the States. So there's even a little bit of a family vibe going yeah, on. Yeah, that's respect. The town You're and, on you know from what I'm saying? The, yeah, yeah, like they're from the hometown. And so there's always been that. And vibe. I'm sure when you and Bieber work together, you and Drake work together, there's that vibe of, you know, we all grew up from the same. Yeah, Toronto um, kids, Canada. Yeah. There's just that underlying vibe. But I've always, I've, I've always been that way when it comes. And, and for the guys out there, understand your better play is to do the work super serious and not get into any funny business. Because you're on, you're there working and they see you working. Girls like, oh, he's working, right? <laughs> yeah. That's attractive. And he's not harassing me. Oh, this is even more attractive. I, then I yes, yes, yes. Girls, then you can, girls then, like, you know, they like they to like, see you in your element, you know, yes, working, like running shit. It's, it's, it's and you're the boss. Thing. Yeah. And you're the boss. Or what, so whatever element you're in, when you're in this environment, yo, chill out. And then later... Then you can exchange a phone number. Then you can go hang out. Then right. they can and see your other, but trying to merge these things. What, once they've clocked in, money. their shift is over. Yeah. Now it's time to do that. And just, and again, I'm just, you see me, I'm cool. Let's go yeah. and be cool. I, it's not, you, this, the, the, I've just, I've just never been that guy in general. Okay. But, but just because you're not that guy, girls now are doing a lot of crazy shit. Do you get offered sexual favors to be no, hey, put, no, I want no, to be no. in the Drake video X you know does that happen no well, look, look the type of girls I'm trying to cast in a Drake video are probably the type of girls that Drake would want to get with that's the level of beauty I'm dealing with right big so, hair big booty that's Drizzy you know, I mean, I, like I said I'm selling the fantasy I'm making entertainment yes everything's got to be amazing so the amazing girl that I want the type of girl I'm looking at to cast her DMs are already filled with the, the biggest fucking stars in the world. You know right, what I'm right. Feel you. So, you know, they're not offering blowjobs to be in Drake's video. But, like, that's not who I'm casting. You I know feel what I'm you. It's okay. Yeah. You're, you're, task, you're, you're casting a tier that doesn't fuck around with that. It's it's the tier maybe one or two below that would be in that box. And I've never, and no one's ever said that kind of crazy shit to me. So maybe, I don't believe you. I, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I've never, I, I don't, I haven't, I get one, like you said, I'm, I don't seem like the, the dude to approach with that shit. Right, right. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, back in the day. Well, it's good to hear that the, you're professional, the they're yeah. professional, everyone's professional. Like it's yeah, actually. Everyone, there's a level there. Uh, back in the day, there might have been more interesting offers when, when being in a music video would get you on television. Oh, that right. Was a, that was a very different, then it was. A much harder yeah because getting on tv in the 90s or early 2000s is like look mom i'm on tv it's making it oh yeah, yeah right yeah. i mean it took a lot of money to, to yeah get the, like you couldn't just shoot a music video with your phone right right right, right. yeah it was a could, big so true making the music making yeah. the music, everything was harder to do you there's only like start. 10 channels to watch so you're exactly. going to be seen by everyone yeah. and then to be in a video of a big star right so there uh there was that and there's some interesting it was my my little scientist brain. I remember looking at some girls like, "Oh, this is interesting." The need to be in a music video, right? And, and it wasn't even that they wanted to be in the music video as much as I felt that it was a, that the music video was something beautiful women did. And am I really this beautiful? Because they're in the city, you know, men. They had men chase them. They had all that kind of stuff. Yeah. But if I'm really this beautiful woman that I feel I am. Right. Uh, the music video. Should it's getting, it's your credibility. It's your validation. It's, you right. know, that girl, really, she was in the 50 video, you know? Yeah. yeah. Right. And people so say why that. Am I not, yeah. So they, like, why am I not? The, like those days were different. Now, 
you want to be in a video, you can be in a video somewhere if you want to play that. Um, but it still happens though. Like when I moved to Toronto, Jesse Johnson, I think you've casted her a couple times. Uh, mm-hmm. she, yeah. Uh, it, it was a thing where it's like, oh, she's in a, she's in a Drake video. Like as soon as I met her, you know, she's in Drake video. That's how people like intro you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, it's, it's a, it is it a big is, flex though. It is a big flex. It, it, you know, look, it says something to, to say this girl pretty enough that they, they put her in this uh, music video over here. But again, uh, it's just a, uh, there's levels, there's levels to the game. You know what I'm saying? We are so lucky by the way that Drake's taste in women are completely opposite to like ours. Like, (laughs) thank God. It's not opposite to mine. (laughs) Okay. Well, (laughs) good, good. I don't want to compete with you either. Good. I already did. I already lost. I'm, I'm Owen one from that dinner. So I don't, (laughs) I did not take that girl. (laughs) Okay, fine. (laughs) I went home. Seriously. I went to bed. Like I, I see the girls that Kanye pulls and I'm like, fucking right, Kanye. Every time, every time, every girlfriend he's ever had, I'm like, oh yeah. And then I see Drake's girls, no offense if anyone's seen this, just not my type. And I'm like, mm, cause he's, he's in Toronto a lot. He's probably in Toronto more than you. Yeah. Like legit. Are you, are you going to come home by the way? What's your plan? Eventually. Yeah. But I got, you know, I got work to do out here. So, so who's next? Who's your next video? I can't. Uh, you know, I don't talk about who's next, but uh, you never you know, do. I never do. I feel like it's a certified lover boy thing. <laughs> Something going Maybe, on. Maybe, but I, you know, I don't talk. You know me, bro. Well, I'm you're a fucking legend, Director X. Absolutely love you. Thank you so much for coming on. Uh, where can everyone find you, by the way? Uh, I'm on Instagram, so uh, that's simple. Director X. I actually have a music podcast. Well, my manager has a, a podcast. I didn't know that. Yeah. You never even yeah, post I, I, about it. Uh, I post about it, but it doesn't, it doesn't, the, the algorithm doesn't push it. You know what I'm saying? I but it's called art, 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 art and text. So art. art oh yeah. I saw that. Okay. Yes. A A R T. Yeah. 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 H-E-T-S. So, and that is the number one music podcast in Canada. Wow. That. Okay. Yeah. That's yeah. low key. And you're, and you're not even pushing, pushing it. No. When I, I mean, it's, it's nerd shit. Like we're talking to filmmakers, like we're Dave Myers. Right. Like, right. A director does tons of stuff, Ariana Grande and Kendrick Amazing. Lamar. So we talked for two hours with him and Tanisha Scott was a choreographer. Like if you, so if you're an art nerd you're, Okay, it's person, people that, it's to learn and shit. Yeah, it's the art, it's the architects of the world. So the that's architects- fuck, That's the a architects. cool way to do yeah. it. I love that. And I bet right, you so everyone in your industry looks up. But congrats also, on your, your podcast. Oh, thank is, you. So what, what's, your, what's your rating now? Where, where, yeah, we're where top 1% are? in the world. Did you, did wow. you see that, Grant? We got top 1% yesterday. Fucking crazy. That's yeah. incredible. Thank you, Director X. Yeah, congratulations. Thank you man. so much. Love By the see. way, you said your Instagram. You're my favorite Instagram for a guy. I love hot girls first. Yeah. But you, for a guy, I love when you do your throwbacks and you break down. What he does, Grant, is he'll he'll post like a video. I was like, every time I'm like, what the fuck? You did that bit. You did Aaliyah too. You did this. You did fucking Jay-Z. And he goes, uh, he breaks down like, you know, the struggles of what happened that day. And it's really, it's Keep that up, please. I know it's probably a lot of work to go back and find it and put it on your phone and then type all that, but please it, keep it up. It was actually my protege, Karina Evans. She did the Nice For What video, and now she's doing a lot of TV. She's done direct episodes of Snowfall. She directed the pilot of that new HBO Gossip Girls reboot. Wow. So, yeah, Karina. So Karina's amazing. But she hit me up like, you know what you should do? I go, what? He goes, every Thursday, you should post one of your old videos. Yeah. Like, Great. Oh, fu- best idea ever. Yeah. And I'm telling you to put them on TikTok and – Break down shit like on on camera. I'm I'm. It's the most viral idea ever. Please please do it. I know you're busy, but it's the best idea. Like, hey, this is behind the scenes when me and Aaliyah were doing. Like, who wouldn't want to fucking hear about that and, and watch that? Please uh, I hear it. you, bro. Maybe maybe I will. Yeah, please please out. please. Anyways, Director X, thank you so much, everyone. Thank you for watching Pillow Talk. We'll be back next Tuesday. God bless. Rock and roll.